Good evening, tipsiers. Ranger Dave coming at you from almost 7,000 feet of elevation here outside of Colorado Springs, Colorado. We have another great lineup of the Battle of the Freeze Dried Mills. Today is Beef Stroganoff. Sit back, relax, pop up in the cold one. Let's see which of these is the best and the go-to on the trail. So as always, if you like hiking, camping, moderately fat individuals talking, uh, hit that like and subscribe button. Also check out the description underneath. We're gonna have links to these wonderful freeze dried meals along with any other applicable information today. So welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining us. As you know, food is, in, is incredibly important on the trail. No one likes getting to camp, you're hungry, you're tired, and then all of a sudden ripping open a few ounces of low tide. You know, it's just, it's disgusting. So what we want to do is we want to talk about some of these different freeze-dried meal brands and which are the ones that you should go to. Wait a second. What does low tide mean? Have you ever been to the ocean? Yeah. Yeah, well, low tide, it smells like absolute shit. Okay. Guess I didn't know that. <laughs> go on. So with us today, we have Mountain House Beef Stroganoff with noodles. We have Peak Refuel Beef Stroganoff. With noodles. With noodles. <laughs> and we have Ready Wise with this nice little chipmunk or squirrel, entree trailhead noodles and beef, and a mountain high mushroom sauce. Holy crap, they made a whole paragraph of what this is. Sounds like beef stroganoff. It's a fancy way of saying beef stroganoff. Anyway, we're going to pour some water in. We're going to taste these with the TNT method texture, nutrition, and taste. So stay tuned and we'll see who comes out on top. So sorry, the sequence in which these are on the table keeps changing thanks to Pile Driver over here. So with us today is Pile Driver once again. And then also, of course, Cinnamon Bear. Um, let's talk a little bit about these different freeze dried meals. So the first one in my hand, it was over here, now it's here, is the Mountain House Beef Stroganoff with noodles. Um, and you know, you can find these everywhere. These are at Walmart, REI, Amazon. Um, this one is 4.3 ounces in, uh, in weight. You get 560 calories per serving, so nice meal. Second, beef stroganoff is over here, peak refuel. No, it's not 560 per serving. 560 per bag. Which is two servings, so it's 280 per serving. I mean, you just want to... I got two servings yeah. for you. <laughs> so peak refuel, premium freeze-dried beef stroganoff, five ounces on the dot as far as weight. 810 calories, more calories. Um, so that's that's certainly going to be a consideration here. And you know, you can find peak refuel, I would say, at sporting goods places or places like REI. They're not as readily available, um, but they're around. And then we have Ready Wise uh, 5.6 ounces, so the heavyweight of the division. Um, 690 calories, so you know, all bark, no bite, really. Um, not that that makes any sense, but who cares? Um, and yeah, these are a little tougher to find. I actually got this one at Sierra Trading Post, which is why there's a, an on sale sticker down here. Always a good sign when they can't sell enough of these and they have to ship them to Sierra. Um, but we'll see how it tastes. Um, but you know, these are around. You can, I, I think you can also find these at r and I. I would say all of these also are pretty comparable as far as price. These two typically are around eight to $10. This one is $14. So just be aware the peak refuel is usually a little more expensive. But at the end of the day, it's all about nutrition, texture, and taste. So let's pour some water, let's get to it. So we have some boiled water in each of these right now cooking. Um, you know, one consideration is cooking time. We notice a pretty big variance throughout these. So with uh, the peak refuel, um, three-fourths of a cup of water and 10 minutes. This one, Mountain House, is one and two-thirds cup water Five minutes, stir again, reseal, re and then let stand for four minutes. So about nine minutes total, but got that little dance in the middle. And then this one, which is the, the Ready Wise, um, it says 12 to 15 minutes um, and two cups of water. That's a lot more water. So, I mean, one thing that stands out to me when you're on the trail is, you know, water is a precious commodity. Absolutely. Peak refuel require less water and pretty comparable time. So just something to consider. Um, what if, have y'all noticed anything else about these while we're sitting here? This one is just all around cheesy. It's branding, it's marketing. They have jokes on the back and they're not good. It's like, right. let's see, what's a good one to read here? Um, knock, knock. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? 
Can you come over here and give me a hug? Nope. <laughs> if a man named Cinnamon Bear tells you that, you should probably run. run. <laughs> so yeah, the, just the packaging in general is not the most appealing. It is pretty cheesy. Anything to add, pile driver? No. Other than you're hungry? I can't wait. Why wait? <laughs> let's, let's go ahead and get after it. All right, so the first one is up. We have Mountain House Beef Stroganoff. See what we have in here. Did you uh, did you stir that at five minutes or whatever? Yeah, I did stir it. I followed the directions to a T. We did let these sit for an extra minute just to make sure that it's not too dry. The first thing that stands out to me as I look inside is gross, <laughs> and then um, it's a little watery. Ooh. We'll see. We'll see how that turns out. But hey, why wonder when you can have some? I guess it's okay to be watery with these, you know. I guess if you made stroganoff, yeah, you, you'll have more in a little bit. Start <laughs> leading up to you know, a good taste. One other thing I've noticed is some of the pieces of beef look different. Is that a mushroom, maybe? Yeah, yeah there are mushrooms in there. It's a mushroom. What I like about the peak is it's got mushroom and onions. Oh, no, this one has mushrooms and onions. Ah, maybe it's an onion. So, looking forward. Yeah. It smells good. Yeah, here we go. Well, it's time to live long, loose, and full of juice. Okay, so this one cooked better than some of our previous videos. <laughs> you gotta let it get all the palate. Mm -hmm. I think you did. <laughs> you know. I think the texture is fine. The meat is a little dry, but not bad. Mm -hmm. But there's not much taste. Mm -hmm. Like, I need more taste. Like, I want some salt in this. Yeah, so, outside of the camera range is Bubble Guts, my wife. Bubble Guts, <laughs> do, you, do you mind getting my secret seasoning out of the pantry, please? Can I say what I think it is? Yeah, say Slap your mama. Slap your mama. So I do, I do this on the trail, by the way. Thank you. Slap your mama. Order this off of Amazon. It's in grocery stores. Didn't even plan on whipping this out today. Um, but it's, it's great. Love this on a lot of stuff. I think it'll help. And I, I take this on hikes. I put it in a little Ziploc bag just to spruce up the meals. I'm just going to give it a little, look at that. Just a, just a pinch. Just a sneeze. Would you like a sneeze? Sure. Oh, Slap your mama. <laughs> that helped. Not bad taste. I don't have any left. You have the whole package. We know what you're going to eat. That's a good idea. <laughs> it's not a bad taste by itself. It's just it's kind of bland. It's not as strong. Maybe cut down the water just a hair from the one and two thirds cups. I don't know. Overall, I'd say it's fine. It's definitely cooked fully. Like I feel like we've had issues with other ones not being fully cooked. Yep. So, on nutrition, looking at this, I'd give it a, a three again. So it's still one to five. Three right in the middle. You know, it's not, not a ton of calories, but it's also not that heavy. So you're still rocking just over a little over 100 calories per ounce. Um, you got some electrolytes and stuff. So I'd give it a three. What, do you, what are your thoughts? Nutrition? Yeah. Yeah, three seems reasonable. Nothing stands out. What about taste? I'd, what do you think? Three or four. I guess I'll give it a four. four. I've been stingy before. I'll give it a four. I would really have liked this as a meal. I could eat this. And I normally don't like beef stroganoff very much, but this was pretty good. Okay. Mm. See, I'm trying to think what would really make a freeze-dried meal a four or even a five. I mean, it's okay. I, I, I'd stick with three. Okay. What about texture? I'd, I'd say a three. I think it was solid. I don't think it was great. I Maybe a three and a half. Yeah, I think it's on the the better side than the worst side. So I would definitely go three and a half, four in there. I'll stick with three because the ground beef pieces didn't really absorb the moisture enough. Perfect. So three. So overall, decent, not a bad option. Let's go on to peak refuel. All right, so next is peak refuel. Um, already got this opened up, ready to serve. The first thing that stands out to me for this one though is it looks like, it looks like cow patty. It's just one solid. Oh, it's, it looks thick. It's thick. Two Whoa. C's. 
like, <laughs> like Christina Hendricks from Mad Men thick. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh, I think the third of a cup or three quarter of a cup was not. We went by the direction. I'll see what it says. Does like. it say per serving, maybe? Maybe you should put a. That would be very nice. Carefully good. add three fourths cup, six ounces, boiling water to pouch. All right. All right. Very different, like, seasoning mixture to it. Smells diff like completely different from the last one. Long, loose, full of juice. Here we go. I like this taste. I like this taste a lot. This is a stroganoff kind of The meat, though, same thing. It's like real chewy. It's not fully hydrated. It is, but the noodles are good. I like how thick and creamy it is. I don't like it. You don't like it? You don't like it at all? I don't like what it tastes like. All right. Pile drivers taking over. like, I don't know. This reflex in it that makes it just not want to eat it. I'd eat two of these. A menage a trois of freeze dried meals. <laughs> leave, leave me out of that. Well, there's only me and two bags, so yeah, you're by default not in it. Go ahead. <laughs> Overall, I like this one a lot. I've eaten this one before. Um, I do agree, it could use a little more water. This is the first one we've done where it could use just a little more water, but we follow the directions to, to the letter. Um, it didn't need the slap your mama. I would have put it in there anyway. It'd been fine for me. So let's go over nutrition. Nutrition, I'd probably give this a three and a half. Um, maybe bordering four because, again, it's more calories. You have the electrolytes, um, you know, in a, in a pretty compact package. So I, I'll go three and a half. Cinnamon bear? Yeah, I like that it has so many calories. Like, I've been hitting on that the whole time, but... That seems positive, but I'll go three. I, I haven't seen a huge difference to where one of these is like so much better than the other, nutritionally. <clears throat> a lot of grams of carbs, a lot of protein. How much fat is it again? Uh, 46 grams. Okay, you still have a lot of fat, but yeah. you 50 grams of carbs. I think, you know, nutritionally, I, I'd say yeah, three and a half, four. Yep. Taste? Two, maybe a one. Really? I just don't. Yeah, bad. Yeah. Okay. I would give there, it a four. It's got a strong season. I don't know if it's the cream and mushroom soup flavor or what, but it was mm, not, not appealing to me. Look at that. I give it a four. I think I'd give it a four too. The, I think the flavor was really good. It didn't need anything extra. Um, I even think a little extra water wouldn't hurt the flavor at all either. So I'm a four. Yeah. Texture? I didn't like the texture either. It was wow. pasty to me. Pasty. Which water could help, but it was, yeah, not something I enjoyed. Two again. I mean, in spite of the cow pie appearance of it, I was I was very happy with the texture. I again I I give it a three and a half or four, maybe even a solid four. Okay, yeah, I'd give it a four. You know, the 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 meat could have been a little more hydrated, but the noodles were solid. I like the creaminess. Again, I think a little extra water wouldn't hurt that, so I'd give it a four. Overall, I'd say with the the two of us over here above average. And then some people just might not like it. So you just have to make a decision. If, if you like a little runnier, less flavored food, then you probably wouldn't like this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for making sound so intelligent. <laughs> Next is Ready Wives. Let's see if the cheesiness turned into the creamiest. Oh, that was weak. That was really weak. Was, yeah. Ain't easy being cheesy. For you it is. <laughs> Next is Ready Wives. We'll see how that one turns out. Still going over this, and Paul Driver had an observation <laughs> about what it reminds him of. So. so, you know when you have tuna casserole, homemade tuna casserole, and you don't finish it all, so you put it in the fridge, and the next day you take it out, and it's cold, and it kind of sticks together and stuff? That's kind of what this is like. Just like, Dale, like Dale tuna casserole. I love that. What a great meal. Mm -mm. Now you have so many people like clicking off of Amazon saying, I'm not going to get this. <laughs> I know what you mean. It does have, kind of have that casserole consistency, yeah. especially day after. So I, I see the validity, but yeah. Tuna? <laughs> so now we have Ready Wise. Let's see if these cheesy jokes created a great creamy lunch. We're about to bust this open. <laughs> what is it? This could be the best. <laughs> <laughs> this oh. could be the bag of ass right here. <laughs> Holy moly. That could scare a 
pit bull off a meat truck. <laughs> it, it is so watery. It way, is so watery. Way too much water. And that called for the most water. Yeah. It did call for the most water. But where's the serving spoon? Where's the serving spoon? Do we have a serving spoon? Coming in. Bubble guts? No, oh, it's probably bubble here. guts. <laughs> no. Serving spoon. Here you go. Hey, you're up first. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, stirring it up. It's probably getting a little better. Pour it in here. No, the, the plot yeah, this is important. Th let's see if we can get this on film. Look at that. You're going to get all the juice. How appetizing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Do you want the same treatment? No, please just use this. <laughs> That's enough. Well, I'm a gamer. I'm going to go for it. Yeah. It does oh, smell like the smell, smell is either. not good. It looks kind of like <laughs> the smell is the worst, worst for sure. Long, loose, and full of juice. Here we go. This one's very much full of juice. Mm -mm. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> this is a good time. This tastes like it's made with bits of the Golden Girls. This thing tastes so <laughs> old. Oh. It's a good time to acknowledge that we are it's not like being sponsored by any of these. There's a filler or something that's like just all you taste. I don't know. This it's sawdusty in flavor to me. It's got no flavor. I mean, it's got no good flavor. In a mountain, I don't want any more. mountain high mushroom sauce. I wonder what kind of mushroom they use to make this sauce. This is terrible. I'll tell you what, I'm not even going to finish it. Whoa. Ladies and gentlemen, that is that is code red when it comes to food. <laughs> if pile driver won't finish it. Yeah, this is bad. And they should feel bad for making this. <laughs> so, I've had one bite. I could give the review. Nutrition wise, okay, so taste all the other stuff aside. I'd give it a three again. I mean it's it's middle of the road, six hundred ninety calories, five point six ounces, so it's fine there, a little over a hundred calories an ounce. Decent protein, thirty-four grams of protein, a lot of carbs, you got the electrolytes, I'd give it a three. Yeah, I mean, if you're trying to like count your macros, none of these are gonna be the way to do it. Like yeah. they're all heavy in areas you're not gonna really want, so three's fine. Yeah, I don't even want to rate it. Okay, whatever. Fine. So on uh, on texture, I like, texture is better than taste. I would give it a two. Two, two, taste one. I mean, it's got to be pretty bad to be a one. You uh, didn't finish it. You finished yeah, every. You finished other. I'd still, I'd still give it a two. Probably tastes like day old two like, casserole. Here's the, here's the thing. If, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> if you're on the trail. And I wouldn't want this. Somehow forgot your food, and your hiking buddy said, "Here, have this." You'd rather not eat than eat this, because that's a. One. If I had to eat, I would eat it. A but. one is. I'd rather not eat it than eat that. I would eat this, but I wouldn't have. Wouldn't bring it. Oh, oh, half a point. I mean, Remind me to bring not another bring meal. This with me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not bringing extra meals. Meal. God, this is an affront. This is an abomination. I don't like it. I give it half a point on taste. The the meat was was that chewy again. Yeah. The the taste was bad. You can't doll this up. Got it coming out of my mouth on my shirt. Um, can't spice it up with Slapper Mama. Like that would just be a waste. Cannot cannot recommend this. Uh -uh. <laughs> you took another bite. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you can stop now. Not required. You can't help it. Yeah. Anyway, ready wise. Sorry, this just didn't for us. So thank you for joining us today. I hope you had a lot of fun and hope you, hopefully you got some takeaways as to what to buy or what not to buy when it comes to beef stroganoff. And I hope you're living life long, loose, and full of juice. Till next time.